What I want to do now is start working on getting the mounting hole for the magneto cut. Now the magneto bolts onto the back end of the engine here, bolts to that plate that we built to cover the back, and it has to be directly in line with the crankshaft. And the way we accomplish cutting that hole is we're going to make a couple of jigs that fit in the main bearing holes. And then there'll be a hole in the exact center of them we can run a drill bit through and get the start hole drilled in the back plate. And then we can enlarge it out to fit the uh, magneto end. And that will keep it directly in line. So we've got a couple of pieces of bar stock cut off. We'll face it and then start uh, turning it down to where it will fit in these saddles. Outside diameter of this is cut to fit in the main bearing journal of the engine. So now we need to drill a hole through the center. Started with the center drill. We'll go ahead and put the, run it in far enough to get that taper. That'll help when we're putting the long drill bit through the case. Kind of act like a funnel to shoot it through there. I'm going to run, uh, I've got a 530 seconds real long drill bit. So that's what we'll use to run through these two spacers and to drill that hole in the back plate. There's the piece installed in the case. We need to make another one for here. Then we can put those in there, sandwich the case together, put the backing plate on, take this drill bit, run it through the two, poke a hole in that back plate exactly center line to the crank. Two drill guides are cut. I had to put a little divot in that one to clear the alignment pin there. Drill guides are in place. Now we just need to Fold on the backing plate, drill a hole in it. Then we got the plate on there. Pretty much ready to drill. Oh yeah. Now we got a hole, exact center line of crankshaft. We'll take this plate over. Probably mount it onto my turning plate on the lathe. And we'll enlarge that out to fit the back. And here's the Magneto. Hadn't showed you that yet. New old stock I picked up off eBay. Uh, flicked it over. She's got spark. We probably will take it apart before I actually fly behind it. Put new condensers in it. Because those things are super old and they can break down over time. Still need to figure out how to fasten that to the crank. But this is the size of hole we need to put right there. So that'll fit in, needs to fit in where it's nice and snug. So the O-ring will seal up. And then you have these clamps on each side that bolt through the backing plate to hold it in place. Uh, they should go on each side like this. And then the magneto positioned like this. But I will wait till I've got it timed to see exactly where it's at before I drill the holes here. Because what you don't want to do is end up with one of the clamps under there. So let's go get this in the lathe and see if we can't make the hole bigger. I dang near did not have a big enough lathe for this. I actually had to trim the corners down a little bit just to clear the bed. But we have that on the plate Centered with this. Not turning too fast, keep my arm out of that mess. So what I'm gonna do is drill like three holes into the plate, tap them, put a spacer behind so I'm not, when I'm cutting through here, I won't be cutting into the plate. And then we can start boring the hole out. I wanted to do it this way because I don't have a a milling head like I would need to cut that hole out. And I plan to do the same thing with the cases when I uh, bore those out for the new cylinders. They will fit on here and just like this, they barely have enough clearance to clear the bed, but then I should be able to nicely center them up, cut them out to fit the new cylinders. I rated the bolt spin again, found three bolts, cut out some little spacers out of some scrap uh, drop from the back plate. So let's get that mounted on the lathe. Let's bolt it down solid and uh, centered up. So first we drill, then I'll get out the boring bar and go from there.
Right, the hole is cut. Now to see if my measurements were good. Oh yeah. And we can still rotate it. Oh, it's tight. Yeah, we can still rotate it. Sweet. If that's not enough room to get the O-ring in there, I might just use silicone. Because <laughs> the whole back plate and everything else is held on with silicone. Might as well keep the theme going, but it does fit together snug. It's nice. And there's what she looks like all together. Like I said earlier, I'll probably wait. Drill the uh, holes for the tabs once I'm sure exactly where it's going to be. But it should be positioned pretty much like it is right there. Well, that is all for the day on the half bug motor. I would say next thing I'm going to be doing is mounting the cases onto the lathe since I've got the plate on there. Go ahead and mount them on. Get those bored out for the cylinders. And then there's a little bit of uh, tapping and threading for the plugs. Need to get that done. Then total cleaning, sanding, just making the case as nice as I can get it. And then we're pretty close to assembly. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it.